while I was at this, uh, it just popped up that the blood moon is rising. That's all well and great. Uh, but for the sake of y'all viewing, I have no intentions to do anything with the blood mod. And it will turn everything red and ugly and it won't look good. So we're just going to skip that. Okay, <laughs> there it goes. All of them are set to enchant these books at five. Um, <clears throat> all the item conduits are set to pull out. Every one of them has the top uh, amount of 15 item conduits and they should all come. I guess we'll make them come this direction. <clears throat> now these machines need to be powered. We're gonna use build craft pipes because I like to see the power. Now, in order to power this machine we're gonna do it a different way uh, we are not going to use our setup which of course is coming into the room over here we could use this and uh, it wouldn't hurt but where's the fun in using the exact same thing over and over again uh, what I do plan to do with this here is just to simply and hopefully keep myself from picking up all that which you just heard. Let's see, glass. Lime stained glass, sure. Why not? This may not be attractive, but uh, you know me. And attractive usually ain't the goal. This is to keep me from picking up said particles. Goofy looking, I know. Anyway, uh, did we get all of them filled? Yeah, they're all filled. For some reason, that one seems to be taking it all. Damn it. Many, many done tunk a pause. Uh, let's do this. Uh, fuck. See, this is how it always starts. There's a tank. Drum, there's a hopper. Uh, let's put you up, put you up. We need the hopper back. At least that worked. There's the tank. We shall try to be more careful. Put the other bedrockium drum down right beside it. Break you. Get a liquid transfer node back out. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. This one should be taking more out now. Do it like that. They should be gaining both of them, hopefully. Very nice. We'll let them. They need to get built up. Hopefully, we won't pull out faster than what we need. I don't really know. Hopefully, what we got going on here is enough. Uh, yes. On to the power system. 
All right, we're going to start getting into RF tools and the power generation it can do, and it is amazing, be it a bit complicated. Uh, a few things we are going to need is a smart wrench, which I'm just going to let it take the place of the crescent wrench. I don't know if we actually needed that one, but it came with one, so we're going to use it. Uh, we're going to use an Ender Genic Generator. We need four of these. All right, one, two, three, four. And we're going to need the Ender Monitor, which takes the base. One, two, three, four. So, Ender Generator. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Monitor. One, two, three, four. Uh, we're also going to use a timer from said mod, and of course we needed to make one more. Uh, where'd he go? There's the timer, or I'm sorry, the one, the uh, clock. Oops, wrong button. Thank you. Some folks, the one way to do this, which I've seen on the internet, and I will try my best to remember to link uh, the video that I use this for, the guy who put out the tutorial that I've seen other people use, was actually using the DNS back too. So, congrats on him. He used sequencers and a Redneck controller. We're going to use the Redneck controller. Uh, we'll also need a Pearl Injector, which of course we needed one more damn base. And a Hoppa. That should give us a Pearl in. Wait a minute. Pearl injector. There we go. Now we need some red net cable in. Which we can get some more here. I think one stack is plenty. And we want a red net controller. Programmable red net controller. Which I see has an EMC value, but we'll craft it. Oh, uh, yeah, needs blast stack. Blast stack. There's that one. Redneck controller. Boom. Redneck controller. And we are. Shit. Ta. Go. <clears throat> We're gonna build it. Right here. Uh, first thing you do is place the wrong thing now. Now, let me explain, or try my damnedest to explain what these do. They have three different states. Idle, charging, and receiving. Idle is how they're sitting right now when nothing happens to it. When they receive one redstone pulse, they will charge, which means they will take the ender pearl that the ender pearl injector puts into the. It'll put this. It'll put its <laughs> ender pearl into the first one. Once you hit it with a redstone signal, it's going to toss it to the next one. And before I forget, you need to link these by simply right clicking. That one is now linked to that one. That one is linked to that one. That one to that one. That one to that one. And you can put these anywhere you want, and it'll try to toss it to them, blah, 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 blah. Uh, <clears throat> the important thing to remember here is once we set one ender pearl in motion, it's going to toss to this one, this one to this one, this one to this one, this one to this one. And apparently, when one of these uh, generators receives an ender pearl from another one, that's when it generates power, and it generates a lot of said power. Apparently ender pearls being thrown equals lots of power. These will pulse out redstone signals based on different states. Do you see here when a pearl is lost, when a pearl is fired, or when one arrives. We want to set all these to arrive. So what that's telling our little system here is that when say for instance this one when it receives the ender pearl from that one over there, as soon as it hits it, pulse a redstone signal. 
This is important because this is going to tell our system when to do what with what. And we're going to put our timer yonder. For now, we're going to set it to this just so it doesn't fire that often. Uh, this is ticks, ticks, not seconds. That's important to remember, ticks. Uh, the, the big issue with this one, with this setup, is the timing. Timing is everything. Uh, where's our redneck controller? We're going to set our redneck controller right here. And this is what's going to control all our ticks. Now we also have a lot of connections being made that we do not need. Anyone that's on the side here does not need to be made because it won't do anything. Uh, with the factory blocks or the chisel two blocks that we're using here, they make connections with it. It's not a big deal. Uh, if you want to keep it clean, you can, of course, get rid of them, but that takes time and I don't want to deal with it, so we're not. Uh, now we're going to get set setting the time. So when this one receives, we're going to set, we need to set all these colors. First one is orange. Next one is magenta. Then we should have light blue. And yellow. Okay. So basically, when this receives a redstone signal, or when it receives a pearl, it's gonna it's gonna pulse a redstone signal, which is telling the orange line to hit this one again to fire the pearl, send it to the next one. So as soon as it gets it, gets the signal, sends it over, tells it to fire it. Same thing here, here, and here. The way we want to set each one of these uh, Ender Thermic generators needs at least two connections, and we need to set it to the one in front of it. Here's our other one. We want that one to be yellow because the next one in line is yellow. We want the next one here to be orange, which I, of course, hit on the first one. Darr. I'm sorry. Yeah, orange. And this one back here, we want it to be magenta. So it's just one behind. See that one up there is magenta. This one's magenta. That one up there is light blue. So this one back here is light blue. And so forth. Now, onto the timer. We're going to set it to the third one. And basically what this is doing, we're going to set it to a new Kala, which will be green. And we're going to give the pearl injector its own color, pink. Basically what the timer does is uh, you have a chance to lose the ender pearl. It's built in. No matter how well you do the system, you're going to lose ender pearls eventually. And what this does is it checks every, we're going to set it to 30 ticks. Every 30 ticks, if it has not received a redstone signal on this pulse, then it's going to fire one and we're going to make it tell the pearl injector to throw another pearl in the system. And we just picked my blue. We could pick any of the colors really. I don't think it would matter which color we picked. But basically, if a, if a pearl is going through the system, the light blue is going to get ticked a bunch because it's doing its thing and every time it gets a tick it resets the counter so if it does not receive a tick that means there is no pearl and we need to fire another one now comes the fun part where we get to program our uh, redneck controller so I'm going to go ahead and program it off camera because I'm going to screw it up a lot and this way, you know, blah, 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 blah.